is me, Sharpie Chris Potato right here. And um, we're playing a little bit more Path of Exile here. Uh, we'll be going going to carry on with our hardcore witch. And uh, I've leveled her up a little bit since you would have last saw. Um, I've actually done all of Act 2. Um, I did record it and sadly um, it kind of recorded without any sound. So yeah, basically, unless you want to watch an entire, I think it was like almost two hour video without any sound, then, you know, we can. But I figured, you know, rather let's do this one. And I have made sure, and this one is recording with sound right now as I record this. So um, yeah, um, what's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, let me show you. Uh, we've got a few new weapons uh, and armor and everything. So we've replaced uh, the legendary that we had um, with this. Uh, you know, we're mostly just rocking yellows everywhere. Um, I've managed to find a four socket here and a four socket here, uh, which is good because that's what we need. Um, I'm not using all the skills that the build has shown me so far, but I've kind of mixed it up and I've got my own kind of mix going. So I'll give you a rundown of everything uh, briefly. So we're now using Ray's zombie so we can have four zombies that follow us around. They've got a lot of health and attack uh, speed as well. I think I've got them here. Yeah, Ray's zombie with minion damage and minion life. Oh, life and uh, damage. So yeah, they're nice and strong. Uh, Absolution. So this is this spell. Uh, it basically summons those sentinels um, and the sentinels basically do a lot of damage. Uh, I've got them with added lightning damage, minion damage and minion speed. So yeah, they're nice and Sonic the Hedgehog-y. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we got Flame Dash, which is just our teleport. Uh, Holy Flame Totem. I'm still using this, but it's... Um, it's socketed with the summon phantasm support, so it summons these like ghosts when it uh, kills people or when it pulses an attack. So yeah, uh, convocation. So this is basically just um, a skill that allows me to summon all of my uh, minions to my location. So it's kind of like a if you engage the enemy and they're not your minions aren't near you can push this button and you get surrounded by your minions which is cool then we've got herald herald of purity which um means minions will do more physical damage and um it also summons a sentinel of purity when you kill an enemy so more sentinels and then summon skitterbots and these skitterbots um uh, little robots you'll see them when we go out and they basically shock and chill the enemies and um, they increase minion movement speed as well oh there's a mosquito in here evil evil bastard go away oh god he's gonna suck my blood while i'm not looking evil evil little mosquito bastard i don't like mosquitoes at all i think i prefer spiders to mosquitoes you know i really just detest mosqu yeah, mosquitoes with a passion uh, anyway, I'll try and keep an eye out for him. I'm paranoid now, so if you see me like, you know, looking around like this, like that, that means that you know the mosquitoes around. But anyway, um, what we got? I just need to check. Yeah, okay, so this is uh, we're in the new town in Act Three, by the way. So uh, this is our gem gem trader, Clarissa. Clarissa knows best. And uh, we've got some random people here who we can sell stuff to. So I'm not going to waste time explaining much more. So basically, I need to head here on the map. And that means going here first. So I'll try to walk you through my skills. So these are my zombies. There's four there. They just walk around. They're looking very lovely. Mosquito's back. One second. He keeps flying behind my monitor. Uh, okay, not a problem. We'll get him in a second. But yeah, so... Uh, okay, what am I doing? There we go. Get used to it. So, yeah. There's the totem there that shoots um, flames. Oh, he's back. Where'd he go? 
Oh. I can't see. He's like flying in front of everything. God damn it. Uh, then we've got the ghosts. So they, these ghosts here are summoned by the totem. And those other ones, like the yellowish ones, they are summoned by this spell. Like these guys. The big guys here. The yellow ones. They're summoned when I do this. Like that spell. So, yeah. That's it. And the totem is just there to summon the ghost. So, you know, we've got a lot of summons with this build, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know if I need to go to the docks. Not yet, I don't think so. Just going to look around. Okay, there we go. See, so at the moment we're quite powerful because I've leveled up quite a bit. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll see how powerful we are. I just need to find out exactly where I'm going. Oh, and I need to activate my skills. I don't even have them activated, so... Here we go. Now I've got them activated. So, uh, you can now see there should be little robots coming around. One second. I don't actually know where I'm going at the moment. Ah, here we go. So, you see, these are the little robots here. There's one here and the blue one and the silver one there. And uh, they're the ones that shock the enemies. But you'll you'll see all the all the mobs that will start spawning around me. And I'll have a, a fair few of them. So you, like you can see just all the all the guys we've got swarming around us here it's uh, it's nice it's a good build we've got a lot of a lot of protection here which is nice and that like using this I can summon them all around me like that see and it also summons my totem which is nice uh, and the, the way it does that is uh, I've set up a macro on my mouse so uh, I basically have a kind of a button that I push and it will summon my totem and then it will just summon everything else uh, like all my minions around me so it's kind of like a it's just essentially I'm just pushing one button and it's doing two actions basically so it's uh, it's just saving me an extra click kind of thing uh, so it's you know it's nothing amazing or whatever but you know it will help and um, I've also set up a macro for my um, potions, so it's kind of like an opa it's like a panic button I've got basically, and it's kind of like I'll push one button on my mouse, and it will uh, pop all my potions. So my resistance potion, my anti-stun potion, life and mana, and quicksilver all at once. So it kind of just, it's like a panic button like this. And then it's um, its something I've been using like when I open those chests because um, the chests sometimes I've noticed they stun me or freeze me in place. So by popping all these potions, it gives me like a little bit of extra protection just in case I get like instantly attacked or something like that, you know, so yeah. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the build. So it's it's a nice build, you know. We've got like a bit of everything going on. I I like this build so far. It's uh, I've I've just always liked necromancers. Like in uh, Diablo 2, I really like the necromancer and the druid, the summon druid as well. They're always like I don't know. They're just like relaxing characters. Um, you know, I like I like characters that really get in your face, and I like archers, like archer characters a lot, but. I don't know, there's just something satisfying about um, a kind of uh, a summoner. Like, because it's kind of like you're, you just let all your geezers do the work for you. And you just kind of chillax at the back. Um, also, you have to forgive me. I'm trying to find out where to go. Because on the map, it showed me as needing to go this way, I think. Probably maybe down there or this way. I think I need to go through here, but I can't figure out how to go through there. Let's go down here, this guy. 
Um, I might have to go through one of these places actually. It might be that one up there. Let's let's go this way. It's up here I might need to go Solaris Temple maybe. Sounds about right. Hopefully the volume's okay. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit. One second. I think that should be good. I really love the music in this game, it's like so good. It's like um, kind of on par with Diablo 2 music, I'd say. Like Diablo 2 music holds a special place in my heart because it's like very nostalgic music. But I think they've got like, they've done a really good job with this music on making it like memorable and like just fitting the scenes well and everything. So yeah, feeling it. Okay, let's see where we are. See, we're over here now. We want to be over here, so I'm not sure. Ah, wait, it's a bridge across. Maybe I have to go to the sewers. Yeah, I do. I remember now. I have to go to the sewers and make my way through the, uh, through here. Yeah, this is it. I remember now. Oh, there's a crafting recipe. What do we get? Physical damage not what we want for this character but yeah oh yeah i forgot to say sorry uh on my items you can see at the bottom of each item there's like a light blue text or like a white text and um they are enchants so i can go to my height i've got a hideout now and uh you can actually enchant your gear with extra stuff so as you can see i've got like life um 18 to life 34 increased energy shield 25 to life so I'm pretty much just shoving everything into Resistance's life and energy shield. Um, just because it's hardcore and I need to stay alive. Whereas if I was playing normal, I'd most likely put it all into damage and stuff. But, you know, it's a bit, bit dangerous to play with just damage on a hardcore character. Because, you know, you need that survivability more than anything. Oh, what's that? Gem Cutter's Promise. I'm not sure what Gem Cutter's Promise is. I've never seen that before, that item, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's a card. I've heard of these. I don't know what they do. I think you have to collect them, so it says one of three there. So I think we need to collect three cards and then we get something out of it, maybe. Not sure what, but we'll see. I shall purify you in flame, Whore of Nightmare. He called me a Whore of Nightmare. That's not very nice. He will burn for his sim sins. Oh. There we go. Oh, he dropped some nice gloves there. One second, let's check them. Oh no, they're greaves. They're red, red. I think I might need them later, you know. I think I've got in my skills coming up that I need to have uh, red, 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 blue. So yeah, we'll keep hold of them, just in case. Okay. If I remember rightly, I need to head north here. Oh. Yeah, I hope... Uh hope you like this build as well like i hope it's fun to watch maybe it's not that fun to watch because it's like a summoner build i know you know it's probably more exciting to watch me play a character where i'm 
you know, getting in the face of the enemy and stuff. But I think this build could be fun to watch as well, maybe. I'm trying to go like a little bit quicker uh, than I was before, but I know I'm still nowhere near as quick as I should be. But we'll see. Uh, oh, I see the entrance up there, so that's where we need to go. Go back up this way. I'm paranoid about that mosquito. I'm keep looking around. He's he's disappeared like completely. So he's definitely, you know, he's he's just around looking at me somewhere, like getting ready to suck, suck my blood. Hit mosquitoes. Okay. So, let's see. Um, just have a look at. What do I need? Oh yeah, I need red, red, red for one of my X skills. So those those uh, boots that we got might actually be perfect for what we need later. <laughs> the only thing I've noticed is that uh, there's not many items dropping other than like, you know, crafting items. But I'm just wondering if that's because I've leveled up quite a lot. Because I think I'm slightly high level for this area now. Because I, I basically spent a lot of time just, um, you know, practicing and like getting these new skills and finding better gear and stuff like that. So I've kind of like out leveled the area slightly, I think. Which isn't a bad thing, especially for hardcore. Cause it, especially for me not really knowing the mechanics of this act. Oh, that's a big drop there. I don't know what that's about. Hmm. Whoa, look at him. Cole, his name is. And Cole is dead. A Cole. He was uh, like a rare spawn or a boss of some sort, like a mini boss, mini dead boss. Okay, let's do this. As you can see, the Lake of Calandra tablets are getting a bit more, uh, like a bit bigger now as well. So they take longer to do and they're getting a little bit harder and a little bit more stressful as well. But, uh, yeah. Oops, panic there. Whoa. So that skill is quite, quite nice to be fair. But a lot of power behind it. A lot of oomph. Oh, waypoint. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking for here. I can't honestly remember. But I want you to take a moment and just appreciate what's going on here. Look, all these bodies like impaled. And uh, we're going to go deeper underground right now to level two of the temple. And as you can see, we're greeted. You either master nightmare or it masters you. Master the nightmare or it masters you. So as you can see, there's a lot of Im impaled and decapitated bodies right here. There's some heads that have been sellotaped together. Our duck and emu are just oblivious to everything going on. They don't seem to care, which is nice. And there's blood pouring into the rivers. There's a dead lady there. So, you know, probably not the nicest place to be chilling. But it is what it is. I'm just, uh, with the Calandra uh, tablets now, I'm honestly not paying that much attention to what I'm putting on there. I'm just kind of putting the the symbols that I like the look of the most, and uh, it seems to be working okay so far. See that? It's like panic button, that is. It just automatically summons like everyone to me, so kind of like you're protected in the middle while everyone else protects you. It's nice. Whoa. Holy crap. See, they were doing quite a lot of damage there. That because you saw my health just like uh, that energy shield just sort of, you know, pump all the way down. See, it's recharging. So you can see exactly 
how much damage these uh, people are doing. And you got to remember, I am a little bit over leveled for this area as well, so yeah, got to be careful. So yeah, uh, at the moment, the, the skills that I'm using aren't exactly the ones that my build is, is telling me to use, but they they do, they'll work for now, to be honest, until we can get the ones that we need. But let's do, do love a little level up. So we're all the way over here on the tree now. So we're here. Uh, we want to go this way up to that one as well. So that's good. I guess we head down, like go deeper underground kind of thing. Maybe or not. No, other way, I think. Okay, probably. Lots of dead bodies around here. Lots of legs, arms. Oh. Loads of bodies here. Whoa, look at them all. Jeez Louise. That's a lot of body right there. You're a necromant, so this would be a very good place to summon the dead from. It's a shame we can't have four. Could raise an entire army here. Oh. In these cages. It's like these uh, women are like, I don't know, like the women with weird tentacle things, octopus arms that shoot spears out of their chest. Pretty, pretty crazy. Like a, a maze of jail cells. Oh, well, the boss one there. I would pick that shield up, but it's only got one link on it, so not, not what I'm after. That way. Hmm, this is a bit like a maze here, isn't it? Probably through here. These women are very accurate at shooting those little spikes out of their chest. Whoa, loads of them, loads of them, watch out. Too bad. A portal. Is this going to be a boss fight? That looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, yes. You could have conquered, you had to choose mine. Such power wasted on a feeble imagination. Piety. I need 
more mana. Where is she? There she is. That it? That's quite. I think I'm just overpowered uh, at this stage. It was you I wasn't very fond of. Lightning damage rank one. That would be good because we're doing a lot of lightning damage. All these geezers just chilling in the pool, having a jacuzzi together. Okay. Um. Okay, so it says go back to town. So I think that's all we needed to do there. So kill piety. You are. Oh, new skills. Do I need any of these? I don't know. To be honest. Let's have a look. Very Spectra Summon Reaper. Cremation, Kinetic Blast, Eye of Winter, Lightning Conduit. Um, I'm going to get Race Spectra. I don't know if I need it, but it sounds cool. Piety, piety. We've got here red and blue. You know it's true. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. We're red and blue. You know it's true. Um... Let's have a look, just comparing these. 13 to make some life. We'll take cold damage. Hmm. We lose. We lose energy shield. We gain life. Seven to mana. I don't think that's a amazing upgrade to be honest. So don't do anything sell either. those. Sell, sell, sell. Eat those. Sell that. Oh, we got a new amulet as well. Any good? Our speed. Three to elemental resistance. Yeah, not not worth. Nope. Okay, cool. Bring me back some uh, noise, huh? Uh, put this in here. I'm not sure where I put these cards. I'll put them there for now. Uh, you can go there. Spectra, I guess you can go here for now. Where? See you. See you. Oh, Book of Skill, thank you very much. Exile. What we want? Need something? Anything you can sell? Any support gems yet? No? Let me just quickly check my notes and see if I need to buy anything. Uh three what do we need spell echo is that here spell oh no uh physical to lightning no not there and mini damage we've got what else mobility summon oh feeding frenzy feeding no there either Okay, so no, we can't get any new skills yet. Not a problem. Okay, solve the travel to the Imperial Gardens. I guess that's one of these ones, so... Probably we have to go back here. And figure out how to get to the gardens. and the bees live some funny little people they call the Partington Peas the Partington Peas did anyone else ever just used to love the absolute sugar out of the Partington Peas that's a show and a half that was God, what I would do to binge watch the entire series of Poddington Peas right now yeah, that's, that's the way I like to roll. Get home, watch Tots TV, Podding Peas. What else was there? There was, uh, I don't know what else there was. There, uh, there was, not Danger Mouse. There was something else with a mouse. 
No, Christopher Crocodile, that was it. There's Christopher Crocodile, who loved his custard. And then there was Banana Man. Banana Man was a good, good show as well. Uh, what else was there? You know, kids TV back in the day was freaking awesome. Um, Mona the Vampire, that was a bit more modern, I think. That was more modern. But, uh, what else did we have? Our oh, broom. We had a little, little motor car called Broom. And, uh, it was like a little car that came to life. And, uh, whenever the guy left the garage, the car would come to life and go on little adventures. That was, that was awesome. Broom was freaking, freaking badass. Um, what else did we have? Pugs. Tugs was a good one. That was like about tugboats. Similar, um, like, style to Thomas the Tank Engine, but with tugboats. That was really cool. Oh, Imperial Gardens. Here we go. Um, I think of other, like, awesome kid shows back in the day. There, oh, there was one called Zap. Zap was cool because it was like, it was just like every, they were like little short sketches and each episode was like a different sketch kind of thing. So like one day you tune in and it would go to somewhere on this like board. It would pick like what sketch you're going to watch. And uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. They had some good sketches on that. I need more mana. Okay. I'll, I'll carry on thinking of other ones, but at the moment having trouble with thinking of any, any others. I remember there was like Count Duckula. That was another one. That was quite good. We used to like Count Duckula. Um, anything else? What other ones? Killer library? Do we need to go to the library yet or not? I guess let's go to the library. It's always good to read a few books. With that said, I'm not much of a book reader myself. Never have been. I've read a few books, but I don't know. I I struggle uh, staying focused on books. I. I just always, whenever I ever tried reading a book, I would just always want to go and play a game instead, or watch a movie. Um, with that said, reading a good book on a train or on the plane is really cool. That's like one of my favourite things to do while travelling. But um, me attempting to read a book in an, in the house or something... Just, it doesn't doesn't ever work to be honest. Ooh, look nice. Electric ones. Um, yeah, I've read um, the books that I, the most recent books I've uh, read probably quite a uh, way back is uh, what did I read? I read Harry Potter um, and the Warcraft books. Um, Day of the Dragon, Rise of the Horde, these sort of books. Favor you. They were cool. I I do like the the old Warcraft books. The new ones I haven't got into. Um, I still need to go back and read the others, like uh, the Last Guardian. I need to read and stuff like that. But um, yeah, Warcraft books are really cool. I like sort of these. Uh, just because I'm a, I'm a big, well, I was a big Warcraft fan. I wouldn't say I am anymore, to be honest. I haven't played World of Warcraft in a long time. But with that said, the the old Warcraft like lore and everything like that, I still appreciate a lot. You know, again, a bit of nostalgia, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a really cool story. The whole Warcraft. It, it just it got a bit silly at, after Wrath of the Lich King, I think. Or maybe, no, Wrath of the Lich King was fine. Cataclysm was also, like, story-wise, Cataclysm was pretty decent, I'd say. It got a bit silly with Mr. Pandaria. That's when it started 
when I started like losing my interest in the Warcraft lore. Um, you know, when you got pandas suddenly appear, like I always liked the pandas because, yeah. But still, I don't know. But the, the Holy Trinity is definitely Wrath of the Lich King, um, TBC, and Vanilla. Like, oh, lost the keys back. Did I get him? No, nope, almost. Oh, he's fast. Okay, he's gone again. Oh, no, he's back. Ooh. One second. He's like flying above the camera. Gosh. Not the best, uh, not the best to get distracted by a insect while you're trying to play hardcore, you know? It's, it's not a good mix. Could, could end badly for me. Let's just say that. Good job I've got minions to protect me just in case uh, I need to suddenly, you know, squash a dude. Uh, tablet, monkeys. into the archives. That last. Oh, speaking of Warcraft, that last. That was a uh, good old uh, spell from Warcraft. But you know, um, I'd say Vanilla had a good story. To be fair, Vanilla had a pretty crap story because it was just kind of... There was no story, really, in Vanilla. It was The story was very, very limited. But uh, what I should say the Holy Trinity was is uh, Warcraft 3. Uh, Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. And then PBC and Wrath of the Lich King. They were like the... That's how it all went down, kind of thing. That's that's prime Blizzard. That's prime, like awesome storytelling right there. And that's the books that I like reading the extra lore about and stuff. So yeah. But other than that, um, before that, I think the oh, he's back. Second, just flying above the camera again. He keep because I've got my light above the camera. He keeps flying towards it, He's, which is fine. He can fly towards the light as long as he doesn't fly over to me. Uh, gosh, look at all these skills here. I've got to level up, but I can't. Oh, it's back. Come on. Oh, I got him. I got him, everyone. Don't worry. He is dead. Loads of blood came out of him as well, so he's probably already bitten me and I didn't feel it. That's not very nice, is it? That or it's someone else's blood and he just came in to say hello. Whoa. It's the skelly wobbles. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's uh, all four links. I like getting four linked items. These these four linked items like this are the, the ones that we're looking for at the moment because we need we need that. What's this bloodlust do? Herald of Purity one second. Raise zombie. Quartz melee attack skills causing them to deal more damage against bleeding enemies, but preventing those skills from okay. No, I don't don't really know how that is gonna work with my skills, so I will not use it. Go down here. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the other books that I read, uh, ooh, Orb of Alchemy, I need that, I think. Um, before that, uh, book, I think the last one I read was, oh god, it was like, uh, oh, I can't remember the name, it's a, a war book, it might have been American Sniper or something, maybe? Or something like that, I can't remember, it's been so long. 
thought, but yeah, I don't I don't read enough books to be honest. I never have. It's uh, not something I'm particularly proud of, but you know, I'm not going to lie about it and pretend I'm uh, a well-read person because I'm definitely not. There you go. Most of my reading these days is just from uh, you know reading strategy guides and uh, you know to various games and whatnot. Reading Reddit, Twitter. That's not something you want to be reading a lot. Reading Twitter can uh, cause brain cell loss, I think. Oh, look at that. That guy was shooting pages. And he died very quickly. Golden page. This is like the yellow pages, I believe. It's a... Uh, Path of Exile version of Yellow Pages is the Golden Pages. There we go, that's the Golden Pages done. So out we go, I believe. when I'm ready and not before. One thing I do need to get, which a lot of people recommended on the guides, is getting um, boots with movement speed. I've got 10% increased movement speed, but apparently you can get a lot more, so it's one thing I need to focus on getting. Which way? This way? Okay. Yes. Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, this might be what I need. Uh, last for me, Swift. Meat Shield, Feeding Frenzy. I need that, definitely. Okay, Feeding Frenzy. That I need. I know for a fact I need that. And that needs to go on my uh, minions. Uh, zombies, sorry. So let's do that now. Favor you. So it will be Raise Zombie, Minion life and that so take away the damage and give them that feeding frenzy uh feeding frenzy base duration is 4.2 seconds minions from support skills have 27 percent chance against feeding frenzy to on hit what is feeding frenzy though minions from support skills are aggressive okay apparently it just makes them aggressive whatever that means uh so apparently we've got aggressive zombies now I have no idea what on earth that entails, but maybe let's try and find out. I don't know if it's maybe something the way they act. Probably it's the way they act. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Hopefully. At the gardens. What are we looking for? Find. Oh, we need to find a plum. Plums. Oh, plums. The plum is for Captain Fargraves. Apparently he wants a plum. I don't know why. I wasn't paying much attention when I accepted the quest, but just know that Mr. Captain Fargraves, the pirate, needs a plum. Why, you ask? That's... That's, uh... That's a story for another day, I think. Maybe next time we do this story, we'll pay more attention and figure out why he wants this plum. What's so special about this plum, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Plums, that's what I want to know. 
plums, 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 plums. Making hybrid glass. What's a hybrid flask, I wonder? Maybe like both, mana and life in one. No plums here. Any plums here? Oh, maybe through here. This looks like a, a plum kind of place, if you ask me. Maybe. Maybe here? Oh. Send the... S what is that? The Scepter of God. That's the end, I think. So before we do that, let's find this plum while we're here. Then we'll do the Scepter of God. Are we going to defeat God? Is that our task in life? I don't know if that would make us very popular among a lot of people, you know? So some of these gems now, you can see on the right that a lot of them are greyed out. It means I can't level them until I actually level up myself, so yeah. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, then we will go up. Oh, nothing. Um, sorry, I'm just looking where our next thing will take us. Level are we now? We are level 39, 40, so... I believe that we will be going level 60 next, so we'll be going up there. Okay, cool. I know where we need to go next on our journey. We need to find this plum. Looking around. Do -do -do. Anyone? No plums. Where the plums? Where the plums? Where the plums at? And I read uh, today on an article that uh, the new Diablo 2 season is going to be announced soon, and uh, they said they've got some. Um, like big plans for it, like that they've never tried before with Diablo 2. So it's going to be interesting to see what they introduce because, you know, obviously, you know, Diablo 2 hasn't really had any updates to it in since its original, you know, last patch back in God knows, like what, 2000, and, you know, a long, long time ago. Um, so the fact that they're actually with this ladder going to introduce some like new features maybe is quite a quite a big thing to be honest so looking forward to see what they announce like if they'll maybe you know steal from ideas from path of exon maybe or something that like maybe loot filters or maybe new skills a new class would be amazing but i don't think they'd ever do a new class not this early maybe We'll see how it goes. Um, what else? Maybe something to do with stash tabs, like have a rune tab or something like that. And gems. Maybe something like that would be what they're planning to introduce. But where is this plum? Very well hidden plum. That's all I can say. Oh, wait, it's there in the corner. I think it's where that book is that I've been totally ignoring on the map all this time. Up here. A leader cannot simply stride forward into the future and Oh, it's a trial. To follow. God, how does this one work? Look over oh, I see. So that he can witness and understand the consequences of the path. It's kind of just like teleport where it's safe. That his people are still with him. And don't die. He has not become lost. Yeah, those things don't help, do they? Oh, 
There we go. Emperor must know precisely where that wasn't too bad. Huh. I wonder if that's where the plum is as well, though. Is the plum in here? No, I don't think so. Okay, go, 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 get out of there. Good job you got that teleport, otherwise that would be a pain in the ass. Ah, there's the plum. I, I can see the question, uh, the explanation mark on the map. Let's go get that plum. Plum, 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 plum. There it is. Cheetah's plum. What that means. Okay, it's probably going to be quicker to just teleport out and uh, go to Bear Graves. Uh, some Fair Graves out of Soul Calibur as well, or not? I remember Fair Graves, like pirate in that game. That was a good game, actually, Soul Calibur. <laughs> so we want to go to the docks and find Captain Fair Graves. There he is, right next to us. Look at the sheen on that plum. Is it not the most delectable fruit that you've ever seen? No? Perhaps the gloss of hope is for my eyes only. One! Oh, that's from life, mana. Probably life would be good. Oh, my. Nope. Poor sailor boy, doomed to go wherever the winds blow him. Interesting, okay, sailor boy is no more. Uh, identifying all this stuff I've got, I'm just saying. Okay. Um, that is strength, mana. Ooh, that could be good. Nice ring, 25 to life. 17 to shield. How much life? 25. 17 to shield. How much does that give? Not much. 16, 23. 19, 30. Hmm. I'm kind of getting rid of that one. That one's got more lit resistance on it though. It's got cold and fire and lightning. That one has more life. I, I think I think, I think l resistances are going to be more important, to be fair. I could be completely wrong, but we'll save, just save those rings. What's this? Okay, that's not going to be amazing. We'll keep it there. Okay. Oh, we lost some zombies. We've only got one zombie. We need to go and summon some more. Okay, so we want to go over this way, I think. Let's uh, summon some zombies on the way. Any corpses for them. Four zombies, perfect. Okay, let's go. Scepter of God. Remember, Dominus, what goes up must come down. Malachi. Chopper, it's a, much clutter. Oh, I should have put stuff in my let's go back and just quickly shove everything in the the old trunk stash. Well, that's a nice dog. That golden lab right there. 
Okay, I'm just going to shove these rings here. Uh, these skills can go here. You can go up here. Um, I'm going to sell that. Go keep the bow just in case I do make a bow dude. I'll keep that. I don't particularly plan on making anyone with that. We'll keep that. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, keep you. Better and sell the rest. Come over here. My prayer. Good luck to ya. Good luck to ya. Okay, let's go back. Carry on. So I'm gonna take that jade chopper because you know maybe maybe in the future I will make a character who can make use of that. Just gonna go and oh, there's a beast in here. I just want to get that uh, Lake of Calandra tablet in here. Uh, what should we do? Oh, it's the last one. Let's do spiders as the last one. Okay, let's do a Lake of Calandra. These always stress me out. Lake of Calandra is very stressful. I just think I'm gonna die. It's that initial time, this like initial encounter before you encounter the mobs. You're just like, oh god, are they just gonna one shot me or something? Okay, here we go. Okay, they're not one shotting. Not yet. Oh, also, I forgot to say, when I summon the uh, minions to myself, it also gives them like a life regeneration buff. So if they're low on health and I summon them, they start gaining health back as well. So yeah, it's uh, quite good. I like you better this way. <laughs> whoa, 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 that's a lot of damage. Get out of there. Something is strong here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was... Are they dead? Yes, they are. That's quite a... Powerful one. Okay. Still got Oscar. Oh, zombies. We're good, we're good. Whoa, what was that? But they are definitely getting stronger in here. They're not dying as quick, that's for sure. Zombies, they can resummon them. There we go. We're good. Okay, uh, my zombies are dying. It's very concerning. What is happening here? There's. I can't seem to. Super speed. We 
which is like a double-winded sword really because it's like you could just run so fast into the enemy. Super speed. Going as fast as Sonic the Hedgehog here. All with regret. Uh, where to? Which way? This way? I need the Sonic the Hedgehog theme tune here. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gosh, I almost ran into all of them. Oh, I did run into all of them. I feel you're frozen. You've returned. It seems that uh, Calandra. But remain lonely. Calandra like speaks to you like each time you return like she adds new lines like you know she's expecting you to, to be here sort of thing. Well that's a big, uh, big ass axe. Oh we've got reflecting mist let's see. 13 to fire and lightning resist, 23 of strength, adds to lose 3 life per second, 6 to all elemental. That's quite a nice ring. Whereas that one is a terrible ring. But that one, the only downside to that is it adds fire damage to attacks against you. And you lose three life per second. But apart from that, it's a nice ring. I wonder, is that going to be worth using or not? We'll have to try it out. Because although it has like the fire damage increase, at the same time, it has fire resistance on it as well, so that might negate itself. Whereas the the other one, it had. Uh, the, the three life per second drain, that could be a bit of an issue. Uh, I don't think three life per second is that much, because I think you can... You can re regen more life than that per second anyway so i have to try that Get that ring in a bit give it a go where am i missing i missed when i'm ready and not before when i'm ready and not before this way yeah there we go That's it. I think that's gotta be it. Or is there one more? Okay, I think there's one more up here, maybe. Yeah. Whoa, 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 Don't need that. Okay, so that wasn't a bad run, that was alright. Got a new ring, hopefully. Beast there. Exile! You are a welcome omen. Off you go, little beast! Away! Up and away. Okay, so so this uh, video doesn't get too long. I think we'll finish this area here and either die or kill the boss at the end of it. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, there's the door there. I missed it. Ah, oh, I need to go around anyway.
as far as I remember, you just keep going up and up and up in this uh, thing until you eventually... You eventually meet the geezer. Get that beast while we're here. Now. Oh, there's another beast there as well. Look, lots of beasts in here. These beasts are dying like super this one is captured. I now will take it. Up again. Okay, let's do Lake of Calandra as well. Swap water with an empty tile. Ah, I see. So I can like wait, what should I do here? Maybe. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. Oh, level up. Good. Lots of gems to level up there, lovely. Shadow axe there with much clutter. Lots of sockets on it. Um let's drop that one. Play that one. Okay, um what was I gonna do? Maybe we should take that shadow axe as well. I, I don't like leaving gear behind at the moment. Let's just go back and shove all this in the inventory. Stash. I'll just shovel it all in. We'll come back to it. Okay. I just don't like leaving gear behind at the moment that's four sockets because for me it takes me a long time to reach this part of the game. So uh, let's see. I just need to see where to go on my map next. So I believe we will go directly down to here and then we'll go down one more and we'll go to here. Okay, we're good. Yeah, look, in, you can see there's like bodies. See, they're going up this conveyor belt up to the top. Crazy, no? He's up to something. There's evil, foul magic at play here. Crimson Jewel. Top. Yeah, this is the boss. Uh, this is where I died on one of my hardcore characters, so I'm praying that I don't Goodbye. screw myself in the ass this time. Classic. Have you ever seen the true face of God, Exile? No, I haven't, 
He's dying fast. This world is an illusion, Exile. Oh, I think I need to stand in this or not stand in it. I can't remember which. Probably not in it. I don't know. Oh, now I stand in it. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, we did it. We did it. No one will good. cry for you, Dominus. Not a soul. Ooh. That wasn't too bad, to be honest. But again, it's because I leveled up a lot. I think usually that's a lot harder and a lot longer. You have mounted the summit of the empire, not a cockroach. You have crushed the bug emperor and wiped his maggot dreams from the skin of Rayclast. Dominus exiled you. Naked and alone unto the palm of death. But you would not die, would you? No. No. You cuddled death. Promised it the world. Made it your consort and so generously shared it with all your fleeting friends here in Rayclast. Not once did you forget what you were. Of course. Of course. Okay, perfect. So... Yeah, I did say we'd finish. I'll just get... Because I think we're almost at the next town. So we'll just get maybe to the next town or something. That water just reeks of corruption. Let's see where it comes from. Got to go along this aqueduct. Then I think we can get to the next zone. I keep having like feelings that there's like stuff crawling on me for some reason like I don't know why I think that mosquito kind of left a bit of paranoia in the air around me there is paranoia This way, that way. Well, there's lots of uh, enemies here, isn't there? I need more mana. Don't worry, you're good for mana. Don't you worry. Ah, oh, here we go. High gate. I think this is it. Yes. Okay. Cool. So this is our new home for now. This is High Gate. This is like one of my favourite places in this game. I don't know why. It's just. I don't know, I like the lanterns, I just like the layout and everything of this. Opens the gates to you. I have seen I'm watching you. It's nice, nice, nice location. You are most welcome. Uh okay. Be careful. So yeah, rather than me spend freaking hours going through I am tied. Uh all my items and skills and everything and boring you to death. What I'll do is uh I'll end the video there and we will um, we'll carry on next time and uh, maybe I'll have some new skills or some new items ready to go. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. That was quite cool. I enjoyed that. Uh, just finishing that act, showing off the new build a bit and uh, yeah, we'll carry on with Hardcore Sharpie Puss, the witch. 
So yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, good night, good week, or a good weekend. I'll see you next time. Toppy Puss.